Today we're going to make a herb garden for a kitchen counter. This video is sponsored by my friends at Home Depot who asked me to come up with a DIY project using some of their eco-friendly products to celebrate their involvement with the Green Build Conference which I'll be attending. But I'll tell you a little bit more about that later in the video. For now let's just focus on building a planter that drains into the sink. I found these really nice 6 inch by 12 inch Carrera marble tiles at Home Depot. So I started sketching out a design where the excess water could just drain right into the sink. I want to Minimize the amount of cuts I have to make in the marble, so I designed the planter around the idea that an entire piece of tile could be used to make a sloped bottom to the planter that would drain water out of it and into the sink. I'm going to start by cutting a few pieces of the tile with my Ryobi tile saw. For the end of the planter, I want to make a 6 inch square, and since these tiles are 6 inches wide, I just use one of the tiles to set the distance between the blade and the fence. I want the other end piece to be about 5 and a quarter by 6 inches, so I just moved the fence 3 quarters of an inch and made the second cut. There's a little skinny piece as an off cut, and I want to save that because that's going to come in handy later. This end piece is going to need a drainage hole. So I set the fence and then made a series of partial cuts just about half an inch into the tile. To reinforce the connections, I'm going to use some pieces of aluminum angle section. And I just cut these with my compound miter saw. You can cut aluminum on a saw like this as long as you just go real slow. These pieces of angled aluminum are just going to give me a little bit more surface area when I glue the pieces of tile together. But I'm going to start just by gluing the aluminum with Gorilla Clear Construction Adhesive and I'm just going to glue them right to the tile. Even though the construction adhesive is clear, I still want to be as neat as possible with it. So I tried not to apply too much, and then after I clamped the aluminum angles down, I tried to wipe away any excess glue that squeezed out the sides. Inevitably though, a little bit does squeeze out the sides. So once I let the construction adhesive cure a full 24 hours, I then just took a razor blade and scraped away the excess. I use some thin pieces of wood to set the bottom of the planter at a slight angle that will allow the water to drain and then just check to make sure all the pieces are going to fit the way I wanted them to. Alright, looks good. Time to glue up the box. I used extra long spring clamps to hold the pieces in place while the construction adhesive cures. Now that the basic box has been assembled, I've removed the clamps and then took that little scrap piece that was left over and glued that in to fill in the one little gap in the bottom. I used a chopstick to spread the adhesive around and start sealing in the inside corners. I want to minimize the amount of dirt that flows through the drainage hole, so I cut a small piece of metal screen and then folded it and glued that in to create sort of a screen that'll keep big chunks of dirt or gravel from flowing through the hole. I did have a little bit of squeeze out here too, and the spring clamp left some marks on the marble, so I just scraped those away. The inside of the box was mostly sealed just from the construction adhesive, but I really don't want any leaks out the side to mess up the counters. So I just went in with some silicone and really made sure to get every single gap and crack. As much as possible, I want to direct the way the water drips off of this protruding ledge. So I use my Ryobi rotary tool with a diamond bit just to carve some little grooves into the soft Carrera marble. The tile is pretty glossy and I prefer more of a matte or satin finish. So I just used some 220 grit sanding pads on my orbital sander and just cleaned up all the glued up edges and sanded down the broad surfaces as well just to give it a little bit more of that soft matte finish. Marble like this is relatively soft for a stone, and one of my corners was just a little bit uneven, but I was just able to use the orbital sander and kind of round that all over and disguise it. I'm going to fill the planters with a combination of all-purpose gravel from Quick Creek and some Nature's Care organic garden soil. I placed about an inch of gravel in the bottom of the planter. This way I have a drainage bed that covers up the screen, which will help keep the soil from flowing out when I overwater. 
Now, the impetus for this project was to celebrate Home Depot's involvement with the Green Build Conference in Atlanta. Home Depot's sending me and Mike from Modern Builds and a few other of our maker friends to Green Build to check out all the new cool materials and technology that are happening in the world of sustainable design and construction. Now, Home Depot isn't just sponsoring Green Build, they've actually been involved with sustainability initiatives for quite some time. Home Depot's biggest environmental impact is the products that they sell, and they're working with their suppliers to address global environmental concerns in products including carbon emissions, water scarcity, air quality, waste, and more. They've also set a science-based target of a 50% energy reduction by 2035, and this will come by a continually improving energy efficiency in their operations, while also expanding into investments in renewable and alternative energy. Probably most important to us consumers is the wide selection of ecologically conscious products like these organic potted herbs, or this really nice stainless steel watering can which won't rust, doesn't have any added paint, and is not at all plastic. So shout out to Home Depot for making an effort with these important initiatives and for sponsoring this project. Now speaking of the project, I was ready to test it out and see if the water was gonna go where I wanted it to. And up, uh, not quite. The grooves I had cut weren't deep enough and the water was just kind of spilling off to the edges. It would still work just fine if I pushed it out over the sink, but I wanted to control the water a little bit more. So I went back in with my Ryobi rotary tool and cut deeper grooves. I then tested it with more water and realized I needed to go even deeper. Carving into the marble was actually really easy and I like the way the grooves look, although it does have a little bit of resemblance to Thanos' chin. I really like how the planter looks. There's enough herbs in there to actually make a difference in cooking and it all drains nicely into the sink. The other thing that I like is because it's right by the sink, it's really easy to remember to water it. So thanks for watching. Thanks to Home Depot for sponsoring this video. And be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting highlights from the Green Build trip there. So this planter came out great, but if you're looking for something bigger than an herb garden, check out this project from Mike from Modern Builds. That's right. Woo! I built indestructible raised planters. Why are they indestructible? Well, I use composite decking so that the wood never rots, and I used aluminum legs so that the legs never rust. So check it out. Links are in the description. Check out some of our other videos, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks!